What's going on guys, it's Raf here. Uh, in this video I want to be showing you guys some uh, major changes made in the last update. You can see I'm driving on the Montgomery County Hills and uh, they might not seem so steep anymore so I went through the map and I flattened it by 60% meaning uh, even the steepest roads from before are like super easy now. You can, you can see me flying here no problem just taking these roads. Um, it's it's a huge difference and it makes this map a lot more enjoyable and playable and uh, so this video I'll be showing you guys some changes to uh, EMS there were some big EMS and AI uh, fixes and updates in this uh, update so just check out the change log for the full uh, rundown of what was fixed and changed there's a lot of stuff Here you can see me doing a primary search. One of the big changes we did were uh, was fire victims. So one thing you can hear uh, in the video is the guy coughing. So you'll you'll hear them yelling for help or coughing depending on if they're in smoke or not. Uh, they won't just die now. They all the fire victims are untouched when they spawn. If they're hit by smoke, then they'll get a smoke inhalation uh, condition meaning they'll have um, so to prevent my patient from getting smoke inhalation here I share a mask with him so that if I take him down through the fire and smoke he doesn't get any uh, damage to his lungs so you open the doors with C press T to bring out the uh, stretcher and G to grab it X to drop it and L to lower it and th those hotkeys are marked right there on the stretcher so uh, this is the new EMS system. You can scan parts of your patient and see important information. So when we scanned his head, we saw that he was he had soot around his nose and mouth, and he was having trouble breathing. So we'll just get him uh, ready to go, and pretty much all we'll need to do is give him some oxygen. Uh, I don't think he needs rescue breaths but we can just do that just in case uh, remember you have to put your patient on a backboard if you want to pu put him on the stretcher so keep that in mind so we'll go ahead and throw him on the stretcher lift it up we'll give him rescue breaths we can go ahead and give him some IV fluids as well really just depends on the condition of your patient if we would have gotten there later and he would have been overcome by smoke then he could have gone into cardiac arrest or uh, gotten burns which is a whole other thing um, when they get hit by fire they'll get burns and they'll get burnt skin rather than them just always having a timer on of how they're gonna die when they're gonna die and um, it's more dynamic now meaning uh, if you get to the patient in time and you can keep them away from the smoke and fire they'll be fine so these are some uh, camera views in the back of the ambulance so you can monitor your patient uh, while you're responding or if you're in the back yeah, so you just go to first person view and cycle through the views so we're gonna drop off the patient here that's simple you walk near the hospital and with your patient on the stretcher and you just press that button on the radio menu so here you can see the uh, fire victim being overcome by smoke here you can see after he was a uh, in fire now he's kind of charred up here you can see uh, overcome by smoke and jumping out the window 